Plensite Saka is not just one of the best track and field athletes in Taylor history, she's one of the best athletes in Taylor history, period. She was a nine-time All-American, won 13 events between both the Indoor and Outdoor Crossroads League Championships, and earned all Crossroads League honors 21 times. But all of that hardware isn't what stands out to Saka about her career. Wow, <laughs> so many things, but um, I would say just building uh, relationships with the team. Uh, there's just so many people on the team that I've just gotten to know and love so much. And throughout the past four years, I know that I've had so many hard times and just having people that I know would stand by me. Um, that's just been amazing and growing spiritually with them. Um, and it's just been a great four years. With so many athletes on a track and field team, how did Saka build such strong relationships with her teammates? It's really hard, but um, if the intentionality is there, it's, it gets easier, especially like being a senior throughout the years. It's just a track meet. It's just going out of your way to say someone's name when they're running by um, instead of just saying, go Trojans. And so as you do that and as you spend time at meets for hours on end on Saturdays and Fridays, um, it kind of just comes when you're intentional with it. Saka says every time she stepped on the track, she wanted to glorify God and thank him for the gifts and abilities he gave her. That mindset helped her deal with the times when she wasn't on the top step of the podium. I think with track you learn a lot about um, allowing failure to help you to grow. And so it's not like every single meet you're going to PR. And so like there's been many nationals that I've gone and like left with nothing. And then there's been nationals where I've left with like school records and being an All-American. And so like through those, just learning how to like say I failed in this, but I'm not a failure. And so... I don't know, that's just been one thing that I've grown and learned a lot about and like not finding my identity in track, but like in God. So even though I failed today, like God can still use me again tomorrow. So I think it's a lot of that. Arguably, Saka's greatest accomplishment was winning both the long jump and the 100 meter hurdles at the Crossroads League Outdoor Championships all four years of her career. The 2019 graduate admits the feat had crossed her mind before that final outdoor championship, and after winning the long jump on day one, Saka finished the four-year sweep, crossing the line in 14.32 seconds, a new Crossroads League championship record. It was very surreal, I would say, um, just seeing God's faithfulness and all of that, because conference is always the weather, you just never know, and so um, being able to compete to a well um, level every single conference, it's like, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> when asked how she wants to be remembered, Saka doesn't mention the league title plaques or All-American medals. She picks out two things that go beyond those accolades. First and foremost, that I glorified God through everything that I did. Um, and I also want them to know me for joy. Because I think that a lot of times, like, collegiate sport, sports get very much um, about oh, just let succeed, succeed, and we lose track of the joy in the sport. And so I just want people to know me as being a joyous athlete and that I enjoyed what I did. One only needs to see Saka's thousand-watt smile to know she was truly joyful every time she competed. And it only seems right to let Saka have the last word on her career. I have had such a blast competing at Taylor University. Um, I think that coming into Taylor, I was so torn because I was like, do I want to go to like maybe a public college instead of Taylor University or a Christian college? And I think that coming to Taylor University was the best decision for me. Um, you realize a lot about how um, this program cares about you as a whole person and not just of you as an athlete. And so um, being able to experience three different coaches and like build bonds with the team, um, it's so much deeper than just go out there and compete well. It's like, let's compete well to glorify God. And so um, that's just been so fun. It's like, yes, there's pressure, but like ultimately we are a family and you are not just a number. And so that's just been cool.